Ну, а мы си пораженичку. Hello there. Indeed hello, we would like to show you our very own educational video made completely by us and nobody else who could have ever helped us, because that would apparently be cheating. Yes, of course, in this video we are going to talk about electromagnetic radiation and its effects on the human body. As we all know, these days there is a lot of controversy going around this topic, so we'll try to cover it nicely from the beginning. We don't have much time, so let's better get going. Let's start with the absolute basics. There are four types of radiation, acoustic, particle, gravitational, and the most important for us, the electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation can be described as a wave of electromagnetic field carrying energy. To simplify it, it's just some photons wandering around aimlessly. For this video, let's divide the electromagnetic radiation into two groups. Non-ionizing radiation, which doesn't bear enough energy to rob an atom from electrons, and ionizing, uh, which can obviously do that, plus can also destroy whole bonds if it feels like that. Let's start with non-ionizing radiation. Here we have radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible light, and near-ultraviolet radiation. This may get a bit controversial here, because the effects of non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation on the human body are still not very well understood and recently have become a favorite topic of conspiracy theories and other trashbacks of human society. So far we are certain about these potential negative effects. Optical radiation is able to excite electrons and radio waves, uh, waves together with microwaves can induce small electric currents thus heating the body. Some studies also found that uh, they may have a negative effect on the distribution of ions in the body. Now we are probably asking, so what is it? Are they dangerous or not? Well, the answer is we don't know exactly. We know that non-ionizing radiation may have some effects on us, we just don't know whether they are harmful. So far, non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation is classified as possibly carcinogenic. Don't worry, this just means that there is a small possibility that they may cause cancer. In fact, they are considered to be one of the possible treatments for cancer, so I guess they can't be that bad. This doesn't mean non-ionizing and electromagnetic radiation can hurt you. The heating effects quits quite strong with shorter wavelengths. For example, if you uh, found yourself in a giant microwave, your blood would boil, your skin would get covered with a third degree burns and you would die of shock. Now let's get to the other part, the ionizing electromagnetic radiation. This one bears enough energy to detach an electron from an atom, thus turning it into an ion. Electromagnetic wave is considered ionizing if its wavelength is less than 124 nanometers. Here belong extreme UV radiation, X-ray and gamma radiation. This type has both good and bad effects on your health. Well, mostly bad, but whatever. Beneficial part is that it is the UV light which makes you produce vitamin D, which is kind of useful if you don't want to get osteoporosis. And now the worst part. You know when you forget to take sunscreen on the beach or whatever you but say, screw it, mama didn't raise me, no chicken. And then the next day you regret your life traces while laying on the couch in agony eating ice cream. There's this sunburn. Basically your cells committing suicide to protect you from cancer. You just got a minuscule ionizing radiation dose. This is measured in units called grays. One gray can be described as one joule of radiation energy per kilogram of matter. All doses of ionizing radiation from half gray can cause acute radiation syndrome. Let's look at the professional chart. With doses from 0 0.5 and 1 gray, you may notice feeling a bit of, but there is higher chance of infection because your immunity system got a bit weaker. Then there are doses from 1 to 2 grays. Nothing has really changed. You still feel terrible, now we have a probability of vomiting as well. Symptoms usually go off after one day or so, but you will not fully recover until 2 weeks or more. Chance to die is about 10%. Doses from 2 to 3 gray, symptoms are again stronger, last from uh, 1 to 2 days. After this, you may experience hair loss and will not fully recover until the next few months. 
chance to die is about 35%. Now it's getting a bit more interesting. With doses from 3 to 4 grades, you will experience mild internal bleeding, especially under your skin, in the spleen, and from the mouth. Mortality approaches 50%. With doses from 4 to 6 uh, grey, you experience the same symptoms as before, just stronger, and last for longer. Death is often being caused by internal ble bleeding or infection. If you manage to survive, don't expect to fully recover for next year. We are approaching the point of no return. With doses from 6 to 10 grays, your chance of survival is close to 5%. None of your systems works anymore. You die of infection or internal bleeding. Even if you happen to survive, don't ever expect to fully recover. And here it is. If you get a dose from 10 to 50 gray, you have no chance of survival, all your systems collapse, you eventually die of nervous system failure. The only treatment that you can get are painkillers, your death comes within days. Don't think we're over. There's still something to talk about. 50 to 80 grays make you fall into a coma within minutes after the exposure. Your inevitable death comes within hours. And here is our last entry. Those is greater than 80 uh, gray kill you on the spot. You may not even realize it. And now you're certainly asking, how does electromagnetic radiation do this? It's just light on steroids. Well, Jimmy, high energetic photons have enough energy to break whole bonds. They break proteins, DNA, basically everything. Imagine your body as a car. One small part breaks, and the whole complex machine stops working and ends up on a scrapyard. Alright, I re uh, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like, maybe consider uh, clicking that subscribe button and it will show you when we release new video. So, enjoy the rest of the day and see you tomorrow or when we release new video, so maybe in a month or two. Or never. Bye!